Hi. Uh, today, Hi. today I'm speaking uh, um, with Kulud Adel Slepso from uh, Egypt. She is a new music composer. Hi, Kulud. Hi. Uh, so, um, my first question is, what is good uh, musical composition for you? What's my... What is good music uh, for you, right? What, how you define or what's your criteria you're saying? Okay, this piece is good, and I like it. Okay, so uh, I think um, I, I like contemporary music and experimental. Yes. Uh, based on uh, um, I think the the atonal music and how to merge between tonal and atonal to um, to discover create a new new taste and a new sound. Yes. So uh, and how to make this collaboration between this kind of genre of music and uh, with other genres like oriental or maybe orchestrations, orchest orchestration or um, any other uh, form of music like um, uh, like uh, who, who already has like uh, identity and how to make the collaboration between this kind of genre like atonal and experimental contemporary music and between the the tonal mm -hmm. yes right but it's it's yeah. um, basically what you do right this is like uh, this is your perspective on music right yeah uh, what is a good musical composition right what is good music and what is how you are you saying, okay, this music is a good com composition, good written, and this music is not so good written? Uh, yeah, I think I think the good music it's come it comes from the the good composers and the good uh, conductor and the good uh, music players. Uh, so uh, the good one, the quality and the and the original how. It it's it's, it's uh, the 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 composition original one uh, not seems like another one yes uh, and the progression for as a musical theory or a uh, music theory or uh, after analysis the notation will find it it's really kind of original maybe it's formed but it's still original Yes. So, so for this you, is for me a good music. So uh, an originality of the piece is important for you. Yeah, yeah for sure. Hey, do you know? Can you just give example for you? Like, what was the last piece which which you say? Okay, this is a good piece uh, because it's very original. What you have heard? I think the most one is really original in this kind. Maybe for all genres. And after him, all of uh, composers and all of musicians are just creating or discovering by his theory. Uh, I think he's Christian Bach. Uh, uh, till today, we we'll find in his harmony or musicology or music theory, we find this is kind of uh, of, of uh, new progressions uh, in harmony. Maybe uh, he uh, he seems uh, that he is working in tonal, but he wasn't. He was working on a tonal, including the tonal. So he already made the collaboration before anyone else. So especially in Pach, he's the most original one, I think. Maybe Beethoven, maybe Manonov, maybe. But the first one, I think, he is Bach, especially in Pach. And um, do you have some musical style, right? Sorry. Um, do you have a musical style? For me, yes. Uh, a little bit as a singer, 
because I'm a singer as well. So I'm a singer as a singer. I'm looking for the tone of one for the maybe uh, looking for collaborating collaborating between uh, Oriental and uh, jazz, maybe some more time orchestration. Uh, but as a composer, I'm looking for uh, for the first thing that I talked about between collaboration between the atonal experimental one, the contemporary one, and the atonal one, maybe the oriental, maybe how to use from uh, um, or discover from uh, discover new new sound from oriental instruments like a canoe, like I would like an a float, the oriental float. Yes. So you, so your music, it's as I understand right. It's between tonal, atonal, experimental, and oriental, right? So and this yeah. is the, you mm -hmm. would say uh, musical language where you create uh, within those uh, domains you create your own musical language. Yeah. And maybe some musical ideas which you are particularly fond uh, to develop now. I don't know. Sometimes uh, uh, music uh, like uh, within some uh, some uh, 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 some time frame, or, or or you are more interested to add some visual aspects of music or some gestures, which is like the things which you are focusing nowadays. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, uh, yes, yeah. This is what I'm really focusing on. How to make these kind of corporations. Mm -hmm. Can you just give some example of one of your work when when you see these collaborations between Oriental and yeah. experimental? Yeah, I, I, I already used, I already had uh, one piece was a stage uh, performance called the Steps Up. It was about uh, the story about uh, the Egyptian farmer, uh, an ancient Egyptian. It's poetry, it's an old poetry about uh, a story about a farmer that he already had like um, uh, someone uh, who just stole his land and his, his, uh, his donkey and his animal. And then went to the king to, uh, to say that uh, he already, um, Someone did that with him, and uh, he said it in uh, like a poem or poetry. So the king found uh, that the man has a talent that he uh, tried to share or write it. So uh, the king didn't reply him just for seven days and keep the writers behind the behind the wall uh, to write uh, the farmer's quotes. So it's called after that uh, farmers call Egyptian farmers quotes, uh, and uh, I talk it from uh, like two uh, two genres between the Oriental and the uh, and the Egyptian uh, Egyptian scales. It's not Oriental. Oriental was uh, Egyptian scales and a tone and experimental one. It was merged between both both of them. It was a collaboration on the stage. So uh, it was first time for myself to share this kind of uh, or like a whole project. I already uh, was enrolled in this kind of projects uh, for uh, for contemporary and experimental, uh, maybe improvising a lot of music on the stage. But it was first time that was notated and. Uh, uh, I had uh, like um, oriental uh, oriental instruments, and um, I discovered from this uh, these kind of instruments uh, another sound uh, which really helped me in uh, explode exploding or like maybe it's not exploding, maybe it's discovering or experiment um, uh, in this performance. Yes, yes, but in, um, why you added, uh, and what was reasoning be, uh, behind you, why you added this performance elements? Because there was a performance center, right? Dance here? Or... Yes, yeah, so, yeah, it was uh, including uh, music and singing and uh, storytelling. And the last thing was um, uh, contemporary dancing. And why you, why you add, what was, what was the idea behind it? What? I'm sorry about the Why you add? 
uh, this uh, dancers to your to your to your piece because uh, yeah because i think uh, in the end i'm just uh, trying to share what i really uh, uh, feed but uh, feed and i think all art uh, arts are just um, linked it together to to discover something new maybe dancing uh, between dancing and singing and music and uh, uh, it's a stage you know it's just uh, and i'm key graphic as well i were i, I were in uh, in dance um, that school of why I was young, so uh, and I really created a lot of kind of uh, contemporary dancing. So I tried to help and link between all of them together. Got it. And um, <laughs> what's your way of composing? How you start, and what kind of stages you go through? Uh, in this piece specifically, or generally? In general. In general, I think. Um, First of all, uh, if I don't have a topic, maybe uh, I had a sound. Uh, maybe sometimes I'm trying to discover new sound. Maybe I will just walk in and found a new sound. So it depends on the um, it depends on the piece because every piece ha ha has its own story to to share the music between me and the piece. So it depends on. Mm -hmm. Okay, but some of them maybe depends on the place, place, and send me voice. Some depends on the discovering new music, new sound. So it depends, yeah. Maybe you can give some. Um, uh, can you walk through, you said the, the piece which we talked about uh, previously, right? Uh, what was the stages, how you started uh, and, 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 and what the stages are, right? Uh, specifically, yeah, specifically in Stepsa. Uh, I already know about the story why I was uh, studying in the previous faculty, Faculty of Tourism and Hotel Management. So uh, I really had this story in my mind how to share uh, the king's idea because all of the artists uh, try to to figure out the feeling for uh, uh, for the farmer and no one I think uh, tried to know the the king uh, king's idea or king's um, purpose. So the first thing that I was looking for the the king's um, idea and how to figure out and then i've tried to express how it could work on uh, then i ask myself so we have like two sounds so what would be the toner and what would be the a toner so uh, most of all people just realize the toner one because this is easy to to the ear so um, I link the toner one with the, the farmer and the eight toner with so which was hidden one. It was for the king because no one it's not or it's not easy to figure out what the king was looking for. So um, that's why I was trying to conscious uh, con consciously um, uh, try to share with people, not to make uh, the king's idea to be unconsciously or to be subconsciously. So I just need to make it consciously appear and uh, easy. So how to make the eight owner work as an eight owner for people and make it reasonable and like, like suitable for, uh, for, he for listening. Um, so this was the first uh, like uh, like a map for myself, and then I've tried to um, to share uh, between myself um, how to work in that, and I just uh, try to uh, to share what I really uh, feel for both of them, like drawing the flow for the 
king and drawing the flow for the the farmer because the farmer has had in the first time um, the first day just one problem and then being bigger and bigger when he's going to be nervous so he's went to be nervous and then he make it bigger and bigger and then the other hand the king was Uh, like and he was make it like do what you do i just need your art and in the end i would just return back the the land for you and the animal for you and i'll judge but i have to uh, make you feel pressure to to explore um, and explode what you really have mm -hmm. got it got it and um uh, what's your uh, let's say what kind of uh, software or hardware you use uh, when you compose? Uh, depends on. Sometimes I write notation, graphic notation or notation. Maybe sometimes when I uh, write down like in Sibelius. Um, this is sometimes happen. And sometimes when I just noted, make it notated, I I ask my colleagues to record it by uh, maybe Cubase or maybe in Pro Tools, depends on the time. Mm -hmm. and do you use some, some specific hardware as well? I think uh, just Pro Tools and Sibelius, maybe Cubase and that's it. Mm. And um, let's say how you... Um, and looking on yourself right uh, how your music changed right in the last five years before um five years ago it was uh, like i was working on electronic music more because i was singer and producer music producer and i was looking for um, for make uh, format, maybe songs format uh, was wasn't normal to be honest. It wasn't like senior or it wasn't like that. It was maybe different, but still a song. Uh, working for the others. Um, uh, and trying to merge my collaboration between uh, electronic music and uh, Sufi. Mm -hmm. And after that, uh, it's improving like all, all people. I studying uh, every day, I'm working on myself every day and trying to share more music every day. So uh, it's grown up, you know, that's it. Mm -hmm. Got it. And uh, what you fear the most as composer? What's your composer fear, right? I didn't hear, sorry. I think you are muted there, uh, so can you talk? yes, no, no, no. Yes, now I hear you again. Uh, and now? Yes, I see you. Can you hear me? And I hear you. Okay, so just continue questions. Yes, what was uh, your, what is your uh, composer fear, right? What you fear as composer the most? <sighs> I think uh, stop uh, discovering new lines in my mind or I don't have this uh, kind of um, history in my mind and my, my soul that I can share with others. Got it. And why you compose? Uh, 
I compose because I feel that I can compose. I can uh, I can express more uh, about myself. But not only by composing, maybe uh, by a lot of art. Arts, mm -hmm. like uh, maybe I can make something like performance, like uh, what I did previously. So this makes me feel like I still have something to share. Got it. And uh, if you would be um, a man, right? Would your music would be different? My music? Yes. It's already different. <laughs> <laughs> if you would be a man a man yes i i'd never like to be a man <laughs> no I, I i'm not i'm not i've never tried to to maybe just dream about that no, no. Yes. or just imagine that. yes um could you say that your music is uh, is more feminine or masculine no it's no no it's for humanity it's not for feminine or for masculine it's not it's for all from all okay. but it's just discovered by a female yeah yes. it's discovered by a female but it's for all people yes and for all genders and for all uh, do you think your music uh, speaks more in uh, female language or your music has a female la female female language or it's uh, or it's not no, it's or not no no because i don't have this kind of uh, like i don't have or feel racism or racist for something or i don't i'm not and uh, as well i'm just looking for all human Yes. And looking for women being and uh, for just for taste for people, not for like one gender or specifically gender. Not yes. I'm yes. Just looking for human, not for women or men. It's not my uh, my problem, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel like, uh, have you felt some discrimination being a composer but female? What have you have you been have you felt that you are discriminated because, uh, because you are female composer? You 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 you, you got let's say less, less attention or you get less opportunities because you're female composer, not man, right? Are no, you... I don't. I don't. No, I think. No, I, I think it's the same if you are a female or male. If you have opportunity, it's just opportunity, you know. I never link it by sexuality. I never I never I never do that or feel that actually to be honest. Yes. You know, sometimes women uh, women have rights, sometimes men have rights. So it's not depend on the, the gender to be honest. Not... Yes. Um uh, you're from Egypt, right? Yeah. And do you think it's uh, it's some, some uh, uh, that you are from Egypt? Whether it gives some opportunity, like you use a composer, some and now some you 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 just um, you have uh, opportunity to to discover or you have discover uh, new language or, or mix new language because I don't know you do. Uh, some some Egyptian traditional music or or, or some other means. Whether being a, a composer in, in Egypt gives you some some advantages, over for example being composer young composer in in, in Germany. I think because. All world had the same have the same uh, problem. I think it's not dependent on the country that we have two kind of uh, of music like commercial music and independent one. So uh, I think it's around all the world. It's not here. So all the words here, all the words and like 
like the capitals or like Germany or, or France or like European Union European. So they have like funds or something like that, like festivals. Here in Egypt, we have just like two or three or four festivals per year. So it's not a lot. If we just make a like comparison between the geographical space and capacity in Egypt and the same time, uh, the number of festivals for contemporary music, but actually it depends on the listeners here. We don't have here like base, database that we can share this kind of independent uh, music. Maybe in the future it will be different because we are grown up here. Yes. Uh, it's, maybe it seems like underground music before 2008. It was like no one knows a lot about this kind of music now it's famous it seems to be commercial even it's not commercial so yeah. maybe one day it like rap here it's the same you know so uh this or genres of music maybe one day it will be grown up uh maybe i'll be here maybe i'll not i don't know but i don't relate it because uh, we don't have support here because it's not depend on that because the uh, the Ministry of Culture here in Egypt, uh, to be honest, no, they are supporting uh, for independent music or this kind of music. So, and that's happened with me specifically. Uh, but on the other hand, we, we, we don't have this kind of audience. Like we don't have this kind of database, like a lot of database or data to share with the music. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, but as, I, as I told you previously, that it's, uh, we are grown up and this is normal. But, um, right, as I understand, you are, uh, you are as um, Egyptian composer, young composer, uh, you are familiar with, uh, let's say, with, with uh, Western classical music, and Western avant-garde, then you are familiar with it's due to the way the, uh, your culture, uh, so that you are familiar with Oriental music, and then you are familiar with Egyptian uh, traditional music or Sufi music, right? Mm -hmm. Is this that you, uh, uh, that you are, let's say, that you are living particularly in, in, in country or in, in, in city, we saw we saw diverse um, musical uh, musical uh, music, right? It's we saw different music, and you as a composer who learns music are needs to learn all these uh, different uh, uh, musics. Is it give some kind of advantage over you? Advantage for what? Uh, no advantage to uh, um, to compose uh, the music. In, in 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 different way as in for example um, young european composers who who does know oriental music or does know sufi music do you feel this is like some kind of advantage to you or not yes for sure it's an advantage do you use because... a lot, do you use a lot like egyptian traditional music or oriental music uh, uh, it depends on, yeah, the, as I told you, it depends on, yeah, but, but yes, true. It helps me because it's in the blood, you know. Um, no, maybe not, not um, much about your music, uh, but like you are like observer, right? Like being part of um, a contemporary music scene in Egypt. Um, how has the scene changed in, during this century? Uh, or maybe it's there are dropping, no. you know. Yeah. No, it actually does happen actually because as we we can see maybe in in the arranging the music now it's different. Uh, the style, the sounds that they are using now it's sort of different. We have uh, an original uh, kind of music it's called the Maharagane, uh and trap. It's, it's very original. In Egypt 
and uh, they are using including in the arrangements uh, actually uh, uh, from uh, from uh, orchestrations music from oriental music they are taking lyrics and uh, uh, and, and make like collaboration between uh, these kind of sounds and so yes mm -hmm. we are improving improving and, uh, and developing now we have like original sound we have Maharaganet. for me i think it's original one we have egyptian producers they are amazing now we can see this kind of music in marvel uh, movies and yes yes so, are not improving we are sharing for all over the world you know so the, and to be honest it's not commercial at all it was really an independent underground music so i really appreciate that and i found uh, this kind of music and this kind of uh, original sounds so amazing that we can share with others all over the world and just give them line and they can continue it. it's not easy yes. you know Yes. And what about so we are now we are top and developing. Ah, cool. Yes. And what about contemporary uh, academic music? Contemporary academic music, we don't have here like this kind of academical kind of music because we don't have here the audience. We don't have here this kind of culture to show people, you know maybe uh, one day as i told you maybe this is the next step we don't know mm -hmm. so there is a sense from you that there, we is are now, there is no scene for uh, cont for new contemporary academic music new or contemporary whatever is new no okay. there is not yeah but it's not not to be honest it's not no scene because we have seen but really like precise one and specified one and it's not just not this big one with like uh, like it's not like orchestration or just symphony it's not the same you know as uh, we can see uh, we are we have it but we don't have like commercial we don't we maybe if i just make like sponsor or uh, advertise something like this it will not it will never get this kind of a lot of people audience again can come you know just one talk yes come. yes yes and how it's you know and how's this small scene how it's changed during the century do you have some observation is it becoming bigger and bigger or or it's becoming smaller or it more uh, aging no. Uh, no for sure bigger bigger day by day everything just grown up and being bigger day by day if it's not acceptable now after one year it will be like 10 percent it will be 20 30 and then it will be accepted mm -hmm. it will take time actually all things just depends on time and uh, are there like uh, educational programs where uh, young composers can uh, can learn study contemporary uh, academic music or contemporary art music and the conservatory in, in, the in europe understand right yeah they they are here studying in the conservatory uh, uh, institute for music they are studying that i have like four uh, professors that they are helping me and studying that it's not i don't have this kind of certification that i have contemporary music it's not it depends on composing like i'm, I'm composer now yes. so i have a lot of genres that i can play on or I can create or discover music yes, in this yes. kind of genres, in music, including the contemporary. It's not only specified like specifically contemporary music. It's not. Yes. That yes. I'm talking about. Yes, yes, but the new, right? Uh, or no, 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 say it's not contemporary, but the music uh, which compose uh, young composers, right? Nowadays, they're more yeah. let's say oriental music it's more western music or it's some kind of mix yeah and it's including maybe between these and that's like oriental orchestration and contemporary music it's like in, in it depends on the composers as well if they would like to go to like one genre to go deep and uh, drown this kind of genre uh, 
agenda and try to just discover explore more and more so this kind so the best on the the um, the one who will study or learn uh, it's not depends on the place i think mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's it. because uh, i'm i'm studying the oriental institute uh the oriental institute they they they, they never accept this kind of uh, school like on top music they they are looking for classical one even in oriental or in classical they are looking for that and if i'm just talking with them for eight or they will never accept it mm. so it depends on the the one who were just looking for something i'm looking for something i'll never try even to share with them but i, I love to, to study and learn with others professors that can help me in that so it depends on what i really need to learn or have that's it yes 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 and are there like ensembles who in egypt uh, or in cairo particularly maybe who uh, who perform uh, contemporary music mm-hmm. how many ensembles there are and how many yes how many not not yeah not a lot not uh, we don't have like a lot of people here or a lot of artists here they can share this kind uh in academic study but we have not a lot not 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 few one not a lot it's normal between maybe like 40 or 50 composers composers right but and some yeah. who are playing who are playing such music who are focus who are focusing on on performing new music oriental or classical maybe jazz maybe blues it's a lot of kind of yes this, uh, yes Chinese, but about contemporary uh, about contemporary music contemporary let's say contemporary just 40 just 40 or 50 composers or and yeah, 40 or 50 in this yeah. mm-hmm. got it yeah and uh, how you how you see where is going this uh, music uh, contemporary music in in in, in Egypt what is the biggest uh, trends nowadays among those 40 50 composers i i didn't get the question what are trends right what are musical trends What's surrounding egypt like it, it's the same content and maybe experimental one like uh, maybe producing music like jacqueline george maybe like uh, like neder Maybe like we have a lot of people and artists here, Ahmed Radwan, uh, a lot of composers. They are just looking for this kind of uh, genre of music contemporary. We have a lot of people. Hmm. Hmm. Um. They are young composers. This. Uh, and the last question is. Uh, what do you think what is the role of uh, contemporary music in society or new music what was what what Sorry. is the role a role oh uh, the role of, of new music in society yes um i think uh, anything new in the society it it makes uh, people uh, accepting know the meaning of of accepting maybe it's not their stay their taste but they will try to try to to taste a new something so even it's not acceptable now maybe after after one year they will accept it so it's a lesson of acceptance mm-hmm. all right. arts so i think it's a lesson to make people more to be more flexible to accept uh, to accept new thing so if we can accept a new music maybe we can, we will accept a new uh, new genre new gender new uh, new religious new new land new roots new... so it's a uh, It's, it's it's just uh, for acceptance and this is i think this is the main rule of the life mm. how to um, 
to accept. Yes. To accept, to accept. <laughs> the acceptance of the accept. Yes. <laughs> That's yeah. And the last, last question, just, just to, to somehow, somehow just. arise in my mind. Um, okay. Uh, do you identify yourself with uh, contemporary uh, music? You say, okay, I'm contemporary music uh, composer. I'm oriental music composer. I'm experimental music composer. What is you? With what kind of? What is your identity I'm, of composer? Yeah. No, I'm an art performer or an art discoverer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm discovering. Yes. Yes. Good. I'm I'm art discoverer. Yes. 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 But I can just discover the art, not only music. I'm discovering myself by art. Got it. Got it. So thank you very much and thank you for this interview. Thank you.